Yo people, it's me here again Tom and um, today I want to show you what the month uh, September did bring me for my uh, retro gaming collection. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, jump right into it. Um, of course, this was a must have for me when it was released. It's like uh, the Super Nintendo, the uh, classic mini one, it, it has such awesome games and it's basically uh, a small USB stick with uh, games you can play on HDMI but it's still a collector's item so I'm really excited just to have it you know um, this is the first one uh, the second one I uh, bought with some other stuff you'll see later in the video but uh, it's the Game Boy Advance uh, in the color that I didn't have I still I have one of those but uh, I didn't have it in this color and it was a really good deal I got on this one so yeah, that's basically why I bought it. It was like kind of cheap. So yeah, what's good for me, I guess. Um, some more consoles like a handheld. Um, the uh, PSP version, uh, like uh, the pink edition. It's like completely in the box. It's like it it just comes from the store. It's like uh, yeah, it, it was really cool just to have it because I bought it for like uh, 20 euros or something and. The most people on conventions ask like uh, 45 to 50, which is kind of insane, I think. So yeah, that's uh, a really good deal for me, again. Um, then we are almost down to the last console. This one is a little bit bigger. It's uh, the PSP uh, Slim Edition, but it's, um, it's a silver one. I have the black one already. But uh, yeah, this was a silver one and it was just standing in a yeah a kind lady's house who was willing enough um, to sell this to me. So uh, I was really excited that I could buy this from her and she really helped me a lot by this. So if you're watching this, thanks. Um, then we are down to the last console, I think. Yeah, the last console. It's nothing really uh, special. Some friend of mine uh, who played it had it and uh, he was willing to sell for my collection. So it's uh, basically uh, the black Nintendo DSi. Uh, yeah, really not much to say. The box looks like, yeah, just, yeah, brand new actually. Uh, so that was also really nice. Um, yeah, let's go to the PlayStation 4 now. Um, well, I only have one game for the PlayStation 4 because. Um, yeah, it's just a sequel to an awesome game. It's actually the game Neck. I don't know if you guys uh, know it, but uh, Neck is from the people who created um, the Crash Bandicoot series. So that's actually quite amazing. It's really an amazing game. You should really check it out. It's it's kind of cheap, but it's really a really nice game. So make sure to check it out, of course. Um, Next up something I was searching for a really really long time but I couldn't find it like a decent price because most people ask like uh, 70 to 80 euros each. So uh, yeah these beauties you know like uh, the Nintendo DSi, Pokemon Soul Silver and uh, the hard gold one like the big boxes. I bought them together for like 50 euros together so it's uh, it was really cheap and uh, I want to thank uh, my special uh, mate Ward for this one because uh, he had them and he was doing nothing with them basically and um, yeah he really helped me uh, for completing this to my collection so thank you man. Uh, what do we have left? Oh yeah a few S uh, NES games it's like uh, Crackout and we also have Snake's Revenge uh, I bought these two with the um, with the Game Boy Advance like in a box it was like 50 euros for those three so it's yeah it was really cheap mostly you don't find like these kind of beautiful uh, boxes for like a decent price so uh, thanks for this uh, last no not last one but almost last one uh, I do have two um, Game Boy Color games the first one is the uh, Quest for Camelot which is actually a really great game. Um, I don't find it in this condition much, and also it's it's really rare to find it in a box. So it was really nice that I got this one. Um, next one, not 
a really uh, great game, but still I didn't have it in my collection. So uh, Prince of Persia for the Game Boy Color, uh, also in the box and everything. It looks really great. So uh, it was nice to add this to my collection, definitely. Then to end with, um, I will keep the special game for later. Um, I will end with a few GameCube games that I uh, bought with uh, a friend of mine who was uh, selling his complete collection. So uh, I don't know if I pronounce it right, but uh, Baton Kato's, I think it's pronounced. I'm not sure. It's just uh, an awesome RPG actually. I played it recently and it's really my style of playing. Um, it's uh, an RPG game and it's really nice. So uh, if you have the chance, you can really check this out and play it. It's really amazing. Um, Next up I have like the Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. I do have this for the PS2 but I didn't have it for my GameCube collection. I still miss uh, quite a few um, GameCube games actually. So uh, if you have any of those and you want to uh, sell them to me, just uh, PM me on all my social media to help me out for my collection. Uh, next up is the Tony Hawk, just a normal underground. It's actually really a great game. I love the Tony Hawk series, definitely much. Um, next up we have the F-Zero GX, not really much to say about this one, um, this one I've been looking also for quite a while but I couldn't find it for a decent price so uh, this is like the Star Fox Adventures, uh, I'm a really big fan of Star Fox and also on a mini SNES they did release uh, Star Fox uh, 2 which is actually a brand new game that has never been released before. So that's actually something I am looking forward to to play, but yeah, as you already know, I have so much to play, so it's kind of hard for me. Um, next is the Internal Darkness. I didn't have these, this in my collection still, and uh, it was quite nice to add it to my collection. I uh, didn't have the chance to play it, so I don't know if it's good enough. Uh, next we have uh, Soul Calibur 2. I heard it's actually a really great game, but still I, I didn't have time to play it. Um, then we have um, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Star Wars. Who doesn't? And this game is actually really, really great. Um, I have also Fantasy Star Online, which is actually also a really great game. It was also nice finds to uh, add it to my collection. Then I have uh, like a regular Donald Duck, I just had not in my collection, it was with the game lot, so I just, yeah, picked it up, you know. Um, then I have Worms Blast, it's basically the same, I didn't have it in my collection, it was kind of cheap, so I just bought it. And the next one, I think it's like the most expensive one, um, that was also in the game lot, I was uh, really happy that I, that I could buy it from him, so uh, it's like... Fire Emblem, Pad of Radiance, this game is, yeah, I, I can't explain how awesome Fire Emblem is if you don't, uh, well, if you didn't play it, it's actually, yeah, pretty awesome, it's, it's, yeah, it's also complete with, like, the disc and the manual and stuff, it, it's so fucking beautiful, so, um, yeah, that's it for my pickup of the month, uh, September, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy it, you can uh, follow me on all my uh, social media life. Um, on my Facebook, on my Twitter, on my Instagram and stuff. Uh, so if you like this video, uh, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel to help me out. You can also uh, click the like button uh, if you like what I do. So uh, thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!